There's my desktop. And here's my chat. Hello, chat. Hello, Justin TV notifier. Now I can finally look at the chat again. Oh man, it's been so long. Okay. I'm going to say your choices would be uh, three. Three games. And they will be... i got to make a poll thingy. MIT predicts the world economy will collapse by 2030. Oh. Oh, you guys should listen to this, by the way. It's a mix of Smile, the Beach Boys album, but somebody made a mix that's nine minutes, nine and change, which is kind of neat. Integrates a lot of parts, is really musically dense, but not like, you know, the thing was sped up a few hundred percent or any of that. It's a totally new mix. Anyway, nobody really cares about that. That's just my thing. Uh, what is that? Micropole? No, not Micropole. What's the... What's the pole thing that I use? Pole code? That might be it. Pole code. Alright, your choices are... What sim game do I do next? Lowercase s on sim. Uh, first one will be Agri Agricultural Simulator 2012. Next one would be... What is it? Train Sim 2012... Or 2011, I think. Trains versus Zombies. Zomboies. No, that's not how you spell that. Z-O-N-B-I, yes. Actually, it's Train Sim. I don't know if it's 2011. Or the mainstay, Roller Coaster Tycoon. And here's the link. And it's up to you guys. Throw in a vote. Vote on the next thing. And I'll throw a dumb link into my streaming thing so I can chill for viewers like I always do. Look at this. Sonic. It's three to one. I don't know. I don't think that's necessarily indicative of the entire population. I should probably get on Steam. I think Trains vs. Zombies is probably a better name than it is a better game, but we will see. It's currently winning. Don't worry, we don't play him today. I will still have him. We could play him eventually. Uh, Microsoft Flight. I played a flight sim before, and it went really, really bad. Uh, let me just install Train Sim. All these games I have. Uh, where is that, anyway? I think it's under Railworks? Maybe? No, it isn't. Where is my Train Sim? Huh. That is strange. Where is Trains vs. Zombies? If anybody sees it, feel free to shout out. Um, it's not that. It's not that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 yeah, that looks like something I did. <laughs> In fact, I'm... Hmm. Yep. 
may or may not have ran that train off the tracks. Right click, properties, DLC. Oh! Good call! Trains versus zombies. I did not think to look there. Thank you. Just a note, uh, Train Sim 2012, Trains vs. Zombies, is probably um, more or less the same exact game as Train Sim, just with zombies. Oh wait, there are comments on the poll. Oh god, there are comments on the poll. Boner. That is very insightful, Tim. We'll play Sonic one day. One day. No more polls. This is the the only poll that matters poll.pollcode.com slash rhnw Someone also sent me Sonic 4 as a gift. I just have all these games I need to play eventually. Maybe one day we can just do a Sonic night with Sonic 4 and Sonic Generations. That's the new one. And then I can turn them both off because none of them are as good as Sonic 06 and I'll just play that pinnacle of modern game design. And there we go. There's the link again. Just because. And what are the links? Or not the links, the results. Remember Regis? Vaguely. Results are... 88 for Train Sim, and 70 for Agricultural Sim. I'm gonna give it... I don't know. Two more minutes? Is that too long? I don't want to bore you guys that much, but these are the results thus far. Uh, two more minutes. It's 11.27. By 11.29... We will just go with whatever is winning. So, how about that stuff? Why not do both sims? Uh, we might. I'm not sure. If train sim versus zombies is really, really short, maybe I can move on to agricultural simulator. But, um, again, I've never played it. I haven't played either of them. So I don't know how much there is to each game. I mean, I don't really have that much to do at the moment. Um, had a really difficult week last week with life coming around and kicking me in the teeth. But uh, now I actually have some time off, some time to decompress, and I'm probably going to keep streaming until like 2 or 3 in the morning. Or something. So there are still good number of hours left to mess around in random, horrible sim games. And 11.29, we will decide on the game based on which one has the most amount of votes. I do have Tropico. I have Tropico 3. Hello. Uh, Tropico 3. Why well, midterms and a couple other things going on? good times. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I've got Tropico 3 here, and I played it only for two hours, really? Could have sworn I played it more than that. It's not a bad game, it's just really confusing to go and play something like Tropico when you, uh, kind of grow up playing Sim City, and you want to connect everything with roads, but you can't because the roads don't go places, and it turns out really don't need the roads, and I don't know. Whatever. It's 11.29. Which one wins? Trains versus zombies is the 
current and I suppose final winner. And we will stick with this. We will see what happens. And um, if it happens to be something that's not that interesting, we can move on to Agricultural Sim 2012. Not sure what this game has, but I suppose we will have to find out. Now I just need to go onto the Austin, no, Justin TV, and change the stream title. Train Sim? Train oh, sim. Shut up, me. I know what I sound like. I sound like a dweeb. Uh, what is it? Train Sim 2012? Train Sim 2012, yes. Train Sim 2K12 Trains versus Zombies. Exclamation point. Because it's exciting. What do I major in? Uh, I am a bio major. Potentially looking to double major with biochem or minor in something or I don't know. College is a big, confusing, expensive mess. Uh, anyway, Train Sim. I think this might run in windowed mode on its own. Let's give it a shot. I hope it does. Oh, wait. Needs to update. Alright. Well, get to it. What's the point of 2K12? Oh, yeah, I remember this. It takes forever to load. I don't know. I think it's funny, in a sense, where you have, like, all your sports games come out, and they're, like, NBA 2K12 or something, and it sounds like they're all fancy and everything, whereas it's a train game. It is edgy and cool, yo. It's trains with a Z up in this. Um, oh, great, the launcher has already stopped responding. Uh, news? Wait, do I need to pick one of these? Do I need to pick, like, the zombies, or are they just there? I think they're just there. And go! Please be in windowed mode, yes! Okay. Thank God. It goes into windowed mode, and I don't have to go and spend an hour trying to figure out how to make it work. Except it has now frozen. Move the chat down here so I can sort of see it. I can't really see it that well. Drive by train! It's like a drive by shooting, except on a train. Alright, let me close this and let me make the game uh, full screen. Oh god, it's not responding. Help me, everything's breaking. Oh, there we go. One second, guys. Sorry for the delay. And there. I present to you trains. Or at least the loading screen. Let me just go back onto Twitter and shamelessly shill out and then turn off my thing. No offense, guys. I just don't want it to beep. I'm not really offline. Don't tell anyone. Let me get the link for this. Justin TV. Copy, go to the Twitter thing, paste that in, and close. Okay. Um, trains versus zombies. I've never played this before. Um, I'm going to say I don't know what it's about, but I'd imagine it's about trains and perhaps zombies. And uh, let's see, where do you go to do this? Drive by train. Train? Drive by route. There we go. <laughs> oh god, what is this? Timville Extreme Deluxe Hyper Train 2... I... What did I do? I don't remember ever making this. And there's nothing there. Alright, whatever. Trains vs. Zombies it is, because... I've played most of these on a stream before, and they're not that interesting. And this one doesn't do anything, so I guess we can't find out what Timville Extreme Deluxe Hyper Train 2H is. So guys, what do you want? Do you want Drive for Your Life 
be very, very quiet. <laughs> Off the rails. <laughs> Off the rails or enter the labyrinth. I know which one I want. But which one do you want to start with? I'm going to do off the rails. Yeah, me too. Off the rails. Let's do it. Also, I think this game's got ridiculously long loading times. During which the game stops responding. Yep, there it goes. Oh, uh, did the title on the stream change? I want to say I switched it over to say this instead of Ambulance Sim. But I can't really tell. Oh, and by the way, I totally forgot how to play this. I think you just click things and eventually stuff happens. I did. Okay, thanks. It's loading! Give it a minute. We will get there. Maybe. If memory serves, this takes like a minute or two to load every time. I think? Or is it just broken? I don't know. <laughs> it might just be broken. So, just pretend you're driving a train. It's loading the zombies. Oh, of course. All the budget to this, or all the budget of this game went into the zombies. Is this just dead? I... I don't think it's supposed... To, oh! No, it... It... Is working? Did it just have to load the loading screen? Did it have to load those subtle train sound effects? No, nope. <laughs> it broke again. <laughs> Look at that. Had to load that one screenshot. Even the loading screens have loading screens in Train Simulator 2012. Look at that freight liner. Look at it. Look at that station. Look at that station. Now get this. Look at that freight liner. Freight liner. Nah. And the station. It's got rails. And the train. It's green. It's a freight liner. And station. And the train. There's a bridge. And the station. And the train. Class 70. And... Oh! Oh. Oh, those look like zombies. Uh, I'm apparently in Redding. You transfer your group to an empty HST at Redding. This should get you to Paddington in no time. However, the zombies seem intent on destroying the tracks ahead of you. Well, that's no good. Uh, okay, well, this is... Hello. We need to get out of here fast before all the tracks are damaged beyond repair. You got it, mystery man. Uh... Uh... We driving? Oh, this is bringing back horrible memories of not knowing what to do. Gun it! Oh man, it's got a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, is the, uh, sound too loud?
just let me know how the audio levels are. It's fine. Okay, thank you. Uncouple all the cars. Is that V for view? No, that's V for wiper. Obviously. Viper. Uh, Q for look? W? E? R? What's the camera angle button? No, that's not a happy sound. Go back. Z? X? What does X do? Wait, X? Did X turn the train off? Did I really just sh shut the train down? There we go. Um... I don't want them. Oh, I guess that works. Any minute now. Most dramatic camera angle. C is camera, is it? It is not. I'm on the Great Western one. Oh, God. He looks so enthusiastic. You're so enthusiastic to be driving this train full of zombies. Oh, wait. Is there one at the front and the back? There is! There, there's an identical guy at the front and the back of the train. They're twins. Oh. My engine's off. How's my engine off? Woo. Uh, what's this do? Oh, this camera. That's the uncouple button. Oh no, that's the uncouple button here. Uh, how do I change the view? Eh, good enough. I've got a phone, I've got... A seat, that's a good start. Black lever is the brakes, from what I remember. Yes, you don't want that up. Uh-oh. I can't seem to make this go any faster. Well, I... I feel like we're going to be going far too slowly, so I'm just gonna have to start dumping off trains. I, I can't manage all this weight. I have to escape all the zombies. So, later then. Nothing personal. Oh, there's cars now. That's new. Sorry. Gotta let you guys go. And now the train is lighter. I really don't know where I'm going. Well, I did them a favor. Now they'll for, uh... Now they'll... Ah, I'll try that again. I did them a favor, comma, semicolon, now they'll forever be remembered as heroes. There. That's what I wanted to say before I stumbled over all of my words. I then my twin. Oh, you're right, I did. That's my guy, and the other guy is... He's not there. This mission was apparently off the rails, but, uh... And sorry to announce, I still appear to be on the rails. Maybe I need more speed. I... I don't know where I'm going. Twyford 2? Apparently? Does it have a horn? Maybe? Space! It's a great horn. Oh wait, I should probably stop at that station. Break! <laughs> oh, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make that. Where's the emergency brake? Um... You've seen no sign of that witch or zombies for miles. Well, we just passed by that station, so... Whatever. 
Oh, wait, that's right. If you hit the emergency brake, you have to come to a complete stop. Before you can start it up again. Okay. We'll get there eventually. Maybe those carts that I, uh... I dumped behind will have enough momentum to keep going and make it to the station. Drive. Go. Drive. Drive. There we go. I, I don't know when I get off the rails, but uh, hopefully soon. Uh, the black one is the brake. You want to keep that one down. It's kind of hypnotic watching that wiper blade go. Turn the headlights on. Do I have those? Where are my headlights? Oh. That's just mood lighting. Uh, what is this? Load and unload. Uh, I have no idea. Horn. Alarm doesn't do anything. So, still driving. Driving those trains. Uh, the blue lever is the direction. Right now I've got the engine at 100% here, and the blue lever is saying I'm going forward at 100%. You can also make it go backwards if you want to reverse. But I don't. I want to go off the rails, as the mission implies. See, keeping the windshield wipers on... Eh, on. Protect us from zombies. Just wipe them right off. And I'm not even going to stop at the next station. I'm just gonna blow on through. Do I have to keep the other cars? No. Say, for example, this guy. Oops, that's not the right view. This guy in the back? Well, he's out of here. Anybody in there? Actually, no, nobody's in there, so it's not a big deal at all. Back to the main train. I have no time for him. Also, yeah, there's over a thousand dollars of DLC for this game, and I have no idea how. But, uh, in case you really like your trains, I, I guess Train Sim is here to please. I'm still on the rails, which is kind of a disappointment. I'm waiting to go off the rails. This is actually Railworks, for whatever reason. Oh man, can you imagine if this had traffic rules like uh, Ambulance Simulator did? If every time you accelerated too quickly or braked too hard or something, they just randomly docked points. This is actually real DLC, yes. This is a real DLC pack. Nah, a real DLC pack they released last year for real money. Um, and somebody bought it for me last month. And now I'm sharing it with you, so you don't have to buy it. Where are the zombies? Uh, that green glow? I, that, that was a zombie. That's the zombie. 
I have ripped up the tracks to get you to stop, but you keep on driving, refusing to drop. However you derail, I don't really care because your next destination is your next destination is up in the air. Okay, that sounds great. I guess that's the part where it gets off the rails. I just sort of stole the banjo kazooie witch rhyming thing. Does that window ever go away? Hello. She wants us to derail somehow. I think you should slow down. Nah, I'm good. Oh, oh god. I I am off the rails. I oh oh <laughs> Well, um That was a lot of build up for not much. <laughs> well, it happened. <laughs> I I did go off the rails. That is true. Now it has to load. I should have lowered my speed. Well, I couldn't. Because I was playing. And you should know, I'm not really good at that kind of thing. I'm not good with moderation. It's not my strong suit. So, how about that Class 70 train? Or that station with trains. <laughs> Can I click these? Is this interesting yet? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh no, again. What if you have the zombies get you at the start? I don't know. What if you just drive backwards? Yeah, I'm just gonna drive backwards this time, see what happens. Why not? I'll let the guy in the back of the train have his day in the sun. not moving the camera like I thought it was. There we go. Oh, you have to wait for the animation to go. Well, this looks promising. And those are the zombies. They're exactly the same as the normal people, except for the fact that they're green. That's it. Also, I somehow stopped. Oh, whoops. Is that one down? Drive? Why isn't it moving? Hmm. Um. You gonna move? Anything? Brakes are on. Not anymore. Oh, there we go. Whoops. Trains are surprisingly complex creatures. And off we go. Uh, I don't know where backwards will take us, but we will see. Oh. Well, nowhere. Just turn the thing off. Derailment due to junction switched against train. Oh. Should have seen that one coming. I'm such an idiot. Uh, how about drive for your life? I'm gonna pass on off the rails. I don't feel like it's working out very well. Let's try driving for our lives on train sim. How about those loading screens? They're great, huh? There 
really makes you want to play the game. Really gets you in the mood, right? Uh, <laughs> could probably do with more than two screenshots, though. A little bit of variety never hurt anyone. I can only go forward and backwards, yes. That's normally what trains do. Zombies. Oxford, United Kingdom. A strange condition has afflicted most of England, turning people into shuffling, mindless creatures. A group of strangers remains immune from the madness around them. This just makes me want to play Left for Dead. And not this. Let's see, we have a scientist, a dude, and a woman. How fortunate we are close to an impenetrable secret bunker built in the bowels of Paddington Station. Yes. Anyone here know how to drive a train? I do. Oh, this is a new thing. Okay, driver, take this ragtag group to Paddington. I'm the professor. Alright, that's my name. I'm just the professor. Well, I don't know what I'm doing, but apparently I have to drive this train. So, probably not going to end well. Brakes are on. I can't change them, they're just like that. My brakes are grayed out. Oh wait, I'm speeding, aren't I? I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna crash. Take a look around this cabin before it's turned to rubble. Oh, got some buttons. I don't know what they do. Oh god. Why are there so many buttons in a train? Let's see. A couple of phones. Fire extinguisher. It's probably important. Another phone. A calculator. What's the red thing on the right? That's the emergency brake. That's also the left. Um, what's this red thing? That's a phone. Yeah, those are some buttons that don't do anything. I have to wait for that slow and embarrassing slow to a stop. has to beep the entire time. And zero. Great. That was a good use of time. We get to wait for it to start back up. Ah, uh, yeah, there really aren't very many zombies in any of these DLC missions. Not just this one. But uh, thanks again for watching, guys. And if this gets especially boring, we can switch over to something else. Maybe I can do a uh, roller coaster tycoon scenario or something and save agricultural simulator for next week. So I can actually have something new for next week. I don't know. Whatever you guys want. that ding means. Probably that the engine's on fire. I need to roll over zombies. See, I was really hoping that would have been the case. 
you know, there's just a bunch of zombies on the track, and the entire point of the Trains vs. Zombies DLC is that you run them over. That would have been great. I would have loved that. Oh, well. Driving that train. Unlike the other mission, we are not off the rails. Maybe eventually. If anybody watched the uh, first stream, when I streamed uh, Train Sim, I still think that one train that I modded that flies into space is still in the game. I don't think I ever turned that back. I just don't remember which model that was. I keep hoping to get into one of these trains at random and have it be that one. Long live space train. Well, it's still doing train things. Still moving. I love zombies. Goodbye, zombies. What do you use to make mods? Uh, kind of just open up a file and change all the numbers around. And hope for the best. What is it beeping? This isn't horrible. It's exhilarating. I've never driven a train before in my life. It feels like it's the real thing, just with zombies and horrible textures and... Well, I'm not doing a very good job at selling you on this, am I? 83.5 miles an hour. That train was taken over by zombies. Oh wait, I'm supposed to stop at a station. Ah, oh, well, whatever. It wants me to stop right here. There's nothing here. Ask the driver to make a stop. My daughter's alive and stranded at Radley Station. Can you go back? No. No, I can't. I'm sorry, this train only goes forward. I've got no choice in the matter. Just have another daughter. <laughs> she can crawl through the window. You just need to stop. Do not open the doors. Can I open the doors while I'm moving? Uh, where's that button? No, I can't. Hmm. These people don't seem very entertained. Hmm. Decouple the cars. Oh, maybe. Oh, 88 miles an hour, and counting. I'm not slowing down. If I am, I'm going up a hill, but I am not doing anything. That I know of, anyway, that I'm... That's, uh, making me slow down. Driving this train. Yeah, this is a zombie apocalypse, you know. Just mass transit is here to save the day. Like always. Uh, there's a station around here, right? 1.2 miles, it says. Stop at Radley 2. Well, I would rather not. 
Where am I? What was that? <laughs> okay. Oh, emergency. Why? There's no emergency. It's fine. What happened, train? Oh. That one. Oh, weird. I actually have no clue. Um. Put the blue lever up. I can't. It's pulling itself back down. Didn't I have more cars? I think I only had two. I don't know. The zombies broke the train. I don't know. Those jerks. There, go. No, well, let's just stop here. Take in the scenic zombies. Go! Take forever to get all the way back up there. I like it, Bingo Trousers. Looks like the train came to a dead stop. Ha, <laughs> the joke is... Zombies. Oh, that one house is on fire. Oh, no, wait, I take that back. The street in front of that one house is on fire. That's a problem. Well, the guy in this one actually seems to animate. Sort of. Oh. What? <laughs> did, did I just lose? I... I lost. I just hit the... Great. Just, just... Fantastic. that stands between the survivors and safety is a lot of destroyed track. That sounds like something I'd be good at avoiding. And by that I mean running it all over. Oops, now the chat isn't going away. There we go. Maybe I'll play some Roller Coaster Tycoon after this. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a couple of weeks. I need to cleanse my palate with some good sim games. And we'll save Agricultural Simulator for next week, I think. All these places in the UK that I don't know. Okay. We need a game set in New Jersey where I actually know where things are. Thankfully, there's this abandoned train. Seems like we're all safe. Engine? Engine. Um, turn on. Turn on. Please? Jersey Shore Tycoon. Oh, God. Could you imagine? I try to forget that's a thing. Oh, God. This thing really moves. Well, no, I take it back. It started to move. It has periods where it kind of lurches forward really quickly and then stops. like a real train. 
I feel like this is going to end really badly. I'm doing just about 80 in a region where I should be doing 40? You'll need to set the path manually. Uh... Uh-oh. Goodbye. Oh. Off the rails. The rails are bugging out. <laughs> I did it... Ah. <laughs> Where did my train go? I know there was that one that I modified. That shot into space. Um... And it was one of these. In fact, I still think I actually have the modified file on my desktop. I think it is... BR-101. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the BR-101 D-bag. That's right. I picked it because of the name. I think this train flies into space. Maybe. I forget if I actually made it fly into space at the end, or if it just jitters around on the track. I don't remember at what stage of usability this train was left in. The D-Bag train. It's a great model name for anything. Hello, Fire Highlander. Thank you for stopping in. Train Simulator 2012. Your route is loading. Again. Class 70. <laughs> you think they could have more than two screenshots? But they don't. They, they just have these two. The last time I played this game, they had at least three. But... Uh, oh yes, this train. Can I get in? Why don't you let me get in? I don't think this is the one I modified. I... I feel like this one is not... Maybe it is. I don't remember. It's going rather fast. Yeah, I don't think it was the light blue one. Okay, it was the black one. making that turn at 150 miles an hour. Going double the speed limit. This is what trains are. Oh my god! <laughs> what the <laughs> I didn't... I didn't touch anything, I swear. <laughs> oh. Um... I broke the train, guys. I, I don't know what happened. Um, I think I need to try that again. I, I might have derailed, yeah. This is how I remember train sim. I think this is one of the trains that I modified. As in, like, really, really heavily modified. I'll just get rid of some of these coupled trains, crap in my style. Alright, later, guys. This train has been augmented, you know it. Oh no! <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, yeah, this is the one that I modified. And I think the secret to this 
is to keep all of the coupled cars on until the end because if you decouple them it will go too fast and you have to leave the other cars on as an anchor or else they will fly right off let me just load this back up the loading times are painful All right, let's try not to speed all the way up. Let's see if we can get to a straightaway. God, even at 10%, this thing flies. Is he streaming? Yes. Oddly enough. Time for trains. Okay, this seems like a slightly safer speed. How does this guy feel about it? I don't know. JFK seems a little bit nonplussed. Godspeed train. Don't fly off the edge. Boo! Doesn't seem to make a happy train if you do this. Mm. Uh oh. Uh, is it gonna make this turn? Uh, uh oh. Uh, hang on. Please give me a straightaway. Eh, close enough. Hmm. Which one's the front? Oh, that one. Alright, well, just max out the train. Oh! The brakes are on this entire time! That's why it's so squeaky. Oh, that turn up there is going to sink it. I bet you. Well, actually... No, no, it's, it's going over. Or not. I am impressed. No, no, it's gone. <laughs> oh. Sword monster! Little heart thing. Modify the NPC train that passes by, maybe it'll derail. Uh, I think I've tried that, actually. I think that's the same model, and it didn't do anything. I'm going to decouple it in a tunnel, because what I remember, or from what I remember, that makes your train somersault into space. Is this game free? No. It was on sale on Steam a little while ago, though, that's when I bought it. On a scale of 1 to fun, how fun is this? Uh, playing plain old vanilla train sim without modifying any of the trains? Eh, a solid... 2, maybe. Not that fun, but when you have trains that go much faster than they should be going and then fly into space, well, it's kind of a blast. Alright, they go, okay, and it's out of here. I love how you can kind of see parts of the train when it breaks. Um, you gonna hit the ground? No. I think it was going too fast. Okay, 
let's try not to max it out too much. I already played a, a plane sim a couple of weeks ago. Go figure, I wasn't very good at that either. Just kind of not great at games. Have I played Terraria? Uh, once? Or twice, maybe? Not much. Kind of burnt off, or uh, burnt out from Minecraft. Needs creativity. Which I don't really have. I just have trains. Alright, let's uncouple some of these. There goes the last one, and it's off! Unbridled potential of this engine. It's gonna lose it on that turn up there. Oh, wait, it's still going, but not for long. <laughs> oh, that's the same thing. Oh, well. Let me try the other one. Alright, let me go back to the scenario list. Uh, the D-Bag Black does not... Was it Free Roam? Yeah, that's right, Seabird Bond. Free Roam with the D-Bag Black. Should be okay. So, chat, what's up? If anything. What's up on Twitter? Oh, wait. Game loaded. Oh, that's a great start. I'm underground. Oh. Uh. Okay. That's... Oh, oh, hang on. Where? Um, is that the train? What am I driving? I can't... I'm guessing it's this. Oh! Why am I in the air? What... what did I do? Oh. The, the train broke, guys. I... I don't know what happened. Whoops. Uh... Oh. Okay. So, ta-da! <laughs> I don't know what I did to that train to make it do that. I don't think they work that way. I do like how the neighboring train was also knocked over. Can I drive this one? That's a boring train. I gotta turn the engine on a little bit. Don't go fast. Just go slowly so we don't go into space. Phone battery's low, I'll charge you later. Go into space. Don't go into space. Oh, actually. Seems to be doing alright now. Oh, wait, that's because I'm in the wrong train. That was the right train. It wasn't? I don't know. I don't remember. Huh. You turned ad block off for me. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, just decouple them all. The train is out of here. It 
It's not going to make this turn. Oh, dear. Goodbye, train. <laughs> so the blue one goes really fast. Sometimes the black one... Or the red one turns black, but then it blows up. I... I really don't know which one is which. It's so long since I've last played this. No, I don't really air ads that much. I don't know. Maybe one day. I'm gonna drive those cars. Godspeed, train. If you really, really want ads, you can just refresh your own page and get ads. Can trains collide? Yes, they can. Uh, it's not that interesting. They just kind of smack into each other and bounce a little bit, but... They don't do that much else. Must drive trains. Even the crashes are boring. Alright, turn off the engine here. Coast around this corner. I think these sim games need to have more dramatic crashes. That's their problem. They don't crash well enough. Oh. I don't think we're gonna make these turns, but we might. Actually, no. Probably be okay until about there. Would anybody put up with some late night roller coaster tycoon? And I'm going to take it right off here. Decouple everything. And off it goes. I don't know if it'll make those curves, but I hope it does. Let's see. Yeah, so far, so good. Oh, no. There's a giant curve up ahead that it's not going to like. It's in a tunnel, though. It's well, sort of in a tunnel. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it just... It's just gone. It just fell through the earth. And... that That's it. Can't say I expected that one. One or more two goes with this, and then I'll switch over to coasters or something. I kind of want to see what else happens. Where's another train? I don't know where the black one is. That's the one that's really modified. I think it's honestly the red one? Maybe it isn't. can't keep them straight anymore. Coasters versus zombies. Oh, man. I'd buy it. Drive. Drive? Hmm. Where's the black one of these? Hmm. Just switch trains at will. Uh, I'm probably going to save Agricultural Sim for next week. So I can have something new and fresh to play.
and it's off. Uh, if we do Roller Coaster Tycoon, we're going to have to come up with a theme for the park. Because I feel like that makes it dramatically more interesting. Versus just, oh, it's Roller Coaster 1, it's Roller Coaster 2, Hedge Maze, Hedge Maze 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. Indie games, I haven't played enough of them to really use that as a theme. Sonic theme. Tempting. It's very tempting. Toilets. Oh man, I tried. You cannot have a park with only toilets. It just doesn't win. Oh man, the room. That was a great film. Real highlight of American cinema. And max up the train. And go. A simulator theme. I want it to be a theme that people that watch, or people that uh, don't necessarily watch the stream or haven't been watching from the beginning will kind of get if they just sort of come in instead of like, oh, what is a sim theme? What does it mean by that? It's a dumb idea. You know, something that somebody could come in and immediately have an idea for. And we already had an internet meme themed thing. Wiki Park, pretty had Wiki Park, yeah, with just uh, random wiki articles. Theme theme, train theme, roller coaster theme, hipster theme. That was a good park. I should turn the speed down here. I have a really terrible idea for a theme. A really, really bad idea that I'm not going to propose because it's going to be time consuming, and if I propose it, I think everyone's going to say, do it. But if I'm really, really stuck for an idea, maybe I'll go for it. Do it anyway. But then, then the theme's going to be really, really, really time-consuming to do. Alright, you, you know how I would do those Windows 98 streams and just go on AOL and screw or uh, mess around in the chat rooms and stuff? I was thinking, what if I went back onto the AOL software, just like load up the 98 virtual machine with like AOL 7.0 on it and go into a random chat room and just essentially ask somebody for a name at random or just pick the one of the first words that people say in that chat and just roll with it. Only issue is that naming things will take forever and this train just fell over. Um, naming things will take a long long time because I will have to wait for a while before anybody says anything. I don't know. Well, that broke. Who cares? I care. I want to get done with these eventually. <laughs> um...